Everything seemed normal as the President's Secret Service bodyguards kept their ever-watchful eyes on the crowd. Everything seemed normal as the President's motorcade began its journey. Everything seemed normal, that is, up until this instant. What took place is so odd that we're going to examine the scene four more times. Watch the left side of your screen. The arrow points to agent in charge, Emery Roberts, as he stands in the Secret Service follow-up car and motions with his hand. What he is doing is calling away the president's two most important bodyguards, the bodyguards whose job was to protect the president's back by riding on the bumper of the limousine throughout the motorcade. Watch again as he stands and orders the agents running at the rear of the president's car away. Watch the confusion inside the follow-up car that results. the right side of your screen. The arrow points to one of two agents whose job was to hop aboard the bumper and act as human shields. He's obviously perplexed. Watch as he shrugs his shoulders three times in dismay, each shrug more dramatic than the last. As you watch this scene for the final time, ask yourself, is this the kind of conduct you would expect from an agency that routinely sends an advance team to a city a month or more prior to the president's arrival in order to make preparations? Now ask yourself if the assassination could have taken place at all had those men been on the bumper during the motorcade. This is the rear of the presidential limousine. The back bumper is specially designed with a platform on both the right and left sides. There are also handrails on both sides of the trunk. This is where the agent should have been to provide the president even minimal security. The president, unaware of the treachery behind him and the danger waiting for him ahead, continued on to his death. You are about to see segments from three of at least four films shot in Dealey Plaza of the assassination. The fourth was confiscated by the FBI and has never been released for public viewing. 